Grant them removed, and grant that this your noise hath chid down all the majesty of England. Imagine that you see the wretched strangers, their babies at their backs and their poor luggage plodding to the ports and coasts for transportation. And that you sit as kings in your desires, authority quite silent by your brawl, and you in rough of your opinions clothed, what had you got? I'll tell you, you had taught how insolence and strong hand should prevail, how order should be quelled, and by that pattern not one of you should live an aged man for other ruffians as their fancies wrought by self-same hand, self-reasons and self-right would shark on you, and men like ravenous fishes would feed on one another. You'll put down strangers, kill them, cut their throats, possess their houses, and lead the law of majesty in line to slip him like a hound. Say now the king should so much come too short of your great trespass as but to banish you. Whither would you go? What country, by the nature of your error, should give you harbor? Go you to France or Flanders, to any German province, to Spain or Portugal? Nay, anywhere that not adheres to England. Why, you must needs be strangers. Would you be pleased to find a nation of such barbarous temper, that breaking out in hideous violence would not afford you an abode on earth? Wet their detested knives against your throats, spurn you like dogs, and as if God owed not, nor made not you, what would you think to be thus used? This is the stranger's case. And this your mountainish inhumanity.